So first of all, you need to open up a Google drawing. Uh, you'll need to go to new and sometimes you need to go to more to actually get a hold of the actual Google drawing app. And it pops open. It has pretty basic uh, tools. Probably the first thing you're going to want to do is go up here and rename it. So I'm going to call this the flag project. And we're going to actually make an American flag using some of the basic tools, but really getting in and using our range tools and some of the other tools that you probably don't normally use in it. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to use just our basic shape here, our rectangle tool, to draw a very kind of thin, skinny rectangle, just a real basic one. And using then our selection tool, which is really just when you click anywhere else, I'm going to highlight it and select it, and I'm going to copy it. And the easiest way to do this is with keyboard shortcuts. Control C does a copy. And I want to paste this 12 more times. So I'm just going to paste 12 more times. So that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Real quick and easy, I just held down the Control button, pressed V, 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 and V is for pasting. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of these, select them uh, by clicking and dragging. It's called a marquee select. And this is where I want to go to my arrange menu, which you probably have never actually used. We want to arrange these so that they are lined on their left side. So we want to line these on their lefts. You can see how that kind of lines them all up perfectly so they're straight on their left sides. Then I'm going to pick this one up and I'm going to move it down to about right here. It's just going to be kind of approximate. Okay. I'm going to highlight all of them again, including that one that I got down here. And now this time I'm going to do something called distribute. And this happens to be distribute vertically, which means up and down. And what that's going to take is the one that is at the highest point and the one that is at the lowest point and kind of evenly mix everything else in between those two points. You can see that I actually did a halfway decent job. I might actually move this one down just a little bit just to make sure that they're spaced out enough. Uh, so again, we're going to go to arrange, uh, distribute vertically, move this up just a little bit, do the same kind of thing. And remember, the first one, the top one and the bottom one are the only two that matter. Everything else in between is going to be uh, distributed between those two. There we go. So that's almost perfect. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and highlight these again, selecting all of them. And I'm going to make it so that the line color is actually transparent. I don't want to see the lines on these uh, on these rectangles. And now what I want to do, because these are the stripes on the flag, I'm going to go ahead and select every other one of these. And what I'm doing is I'm holding down the control key and I'm clicking every other line. So it's actually selecting every other line. It kind of looks like it's done all of them, but you'll see when I go to the fill color here and choose red, it's every other line, right? And now I want to do the same thing every other for the white lines. Go up here, go to fill, make those white. Now, very easily and quickly, I've got perfectly lined, exactly all the same size stripes for my flag. If they're not quite long enough, I need to stretch these out. I can, again, highlight all of them, drag it out, and there's the stripes for my flag. Next thing I want to do is the starred area uses a lot of the same shapes. Uh, again, with a square, I'm going to go ahead and start up here, drag down, kind of approximate where that is. I believe it ends up to about this red line. We can change the size of that as we need to. Uh, see if I can find the correct blue for the background. And you're kind of limited by your colors here, so uh, maybe a little darker blue. And you can actually get a custom color if you need to really get the exact color. And we can spin forever trying to get the right color. Uh, and then I've got that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the outline just like I did before. Transparent. Make the outline transparent. And see how it's coming together. And now I'm going to go ahead and start putting together my stars. Now that is underneath shapes as well. And I've got my, sh my star shapes right here. It actually happens to be on the come out five point star. Click and drag. Now you can notice it's a little bit hard to work when I'm zoomed out this far, so I might want to actually use my zoom tool here to zoom in so I can work on this space specifically rather than having to kind of be zoomed all the way out. That's the zoom tool. It looks like a magnifying glass. It's pretty universal uh, with all, all tools. 
a star that's pretty approximately the right size. I'm going to get rid of, again, the, the line so I have just a white star. And just like I did for the stripes, I'm going to go ahead and select just this star. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it five more times. I'm going to take this one, move it all the way over here. And you can kind of see those little guidelines actually appear for you, which is nice. And highlight all of these. And every once in a while, it'll actually highlight the square. I don't know why. So I'm using my control button to highlight all of these. Again, using my alignment, I'm going to align these on their tops. And I'm going to go to Range Distribute, this time horizontally. And there I have six perfectly spaced, exactly the same size. You can see how quick, if you were doing that by hand, it would look all crazy. They wouldn't be lined up. They'd all be different sizes. Instead, using Copy, Paste, Align, Distribute, those little bit more advanced tools, uh, if you're real smart, you can highlight all of these and not reduplicate your efforts, but now that you have perfectly spaced, perfectly aligned stars, why would you not pick them up and reuse them over and over again so that you can see how you can ha have a flag very quickly here that ends up being exactly the right alignment and spacing and using your arrow tools to get it lined up. If I kept on working on this, I could have a perfectly lined up flag.